Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between drilling and end milling. Machining is one type of manufacturing process where excess material is removed from the workpiece to impart intended shape, size and finish. Drilling is performed to originate a hole on solid surface using a cutting tool called drill. End milling is performed to cut features like slot, walls, fins, columns, webs, etc. The cutting tool employed in end milling operation is called end mill. So, let's look into the basic differences between drilling and end milling in a tabular form. Difference number 1, drill is the cutting tool used for drilling operation. Drilling is one machining process used to originate a hole on a solid surface, whereas, end mill is the cutting tool used for end milling operation. End milling is a machining process used to cut features like slots, channels, walls, fins, columns, webs, free-form surfaces, etc. Number 2, the cutting edges on a drill are located on the tapered, conical, bottom of the cutter, whereas, main cutting edges on an end mill are located at the periphery of the cutter. Auxiliary cutting edges are present at the bottom. Number 3, metal cutting drills, twist drills typically have two cutting edges. However, wood cutting drills can have three or four cutting edges, whereas, end mills can have a wide variety of cutting edges, or flutes, ranging from just one, in micro end mills, to as high as 16. Number 4, feed direction for drilling is always axial to the cutter, whereas, feed direction in end milling with flat end mill is usually perpendicular to the cutter. With ball end mill, Feed can be given at any angle to the cutter axis. Number 5. Drills are suitable for vertical plunging, but cannot cut in side direction, whereas, end mills are particularly suitable for peripheral cutting. However, small plunging is permitted in ball end milling. Number 6. Drill cannot generate plane surface. It generates one cylindrical surface at periphery and one conical surface at bottom, in blind hole drilling only. Whereas, end milling can generate plane surfaces. With flat end mills, one flat surface is generated at bottom and two vertical flat surfaces are generated at two sides. Number 7, conventional drill cutters are mostly made of high speed steel, whereas, end mills are commonly made of tungsten carbide, coated or uncoated, insert type or plane. Number 8, drills can produce features, holes, of high aspect ratio whole axial length to whole diameter, even up to 10 is to 1 ratio, whereas, end milling is commonly not used when aspect ratio exceeds 2 is to 1 ratio. Number 9, usually low rotational speed is used in drilling as high revolutions per minute of the drill can create problem in chip evacuation and can lead to breakage of the drill, whereas, end milling can be carried out at high rotational speed of the cutter. Number 10, during drilling, all cutting edges of the drill remains in continuous contact with workpiece. Thus all cutting edges cut material throughout the entire drilling time, whereas, end milling is one intermittent cutting process. In every rotation of the cutter, each cutting edge simultaneously engages and disengages with workpiece. So each cutting edge cuts material from workpiece only for a portion of time for every rotation of the tool. Number 11 uncut chip thickness for each cutting edge remains constant during entire drilling operation, whereas, in end milling, the uncut chip thickness does not remain constant, rather varies in between zero and a maximum value during the engagement period in every rotation for each cutting edge. Number 12, in drilling, feed motion can be imparted either by moving the tool or by moving the workpiece, whereas, in end milling, feed motion is usually imparted by moving the workpiece. And, difference number 13, drilling can generate long continuous chip as cutting edges remain in continuous contact with workpiece, whereas, end milling inherently generates discontinuous chips owing to repeated engagement and disengagement of cutting edges with workpiece. 